Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Orgrass2000 here And we are back at you with another video And in this video we got five autographs through the mail, TTMs We've also going to open a uh, rip we're also going to rip a 88 Fleer 2022 tops, and I'm also got a random act of kindness to show you guys. As always, we'll start with the TTM. The first one is from Fort Myers, Florida, and we have Jim Dwyer. He signed three of three in 23 days. He had a career batting average of 260 with 77 home runs, 349 RBIs. He played 18 years, appeared in 1,328 games. He played from 73 to 90. He played with St. Louis, Montreal, the Mets, Giants, Red Sox, Orioles, and Twins. And he was a member of the 1983 World Series champion, Baltimore Orioles. And again, that is Jim Dwyer. All right, our second return is from San Diego, California. And we have Merv Rettenmund. He signed three of three in seven days. He had a career batting average of 271, 66 home runs, 329 RBIs. He played 13 years, appeared in 1,023 games. He played from 68 to 80. He played with uh, Baltimore, Cincinnati, San Diego, and the Angels. His best year was in 1970, when in only 106 games, he had 18 home runs, drove in 58, and he batted 322 that year. And he is also a two-time World Series champion for the Baltimore Orioles. Um, next up is not a success. Is not a success. But a failure, and I thought it was pretty neat, so I thought I would show you. It is from Richie Zisk. He did not sign that card. And this is the note that he wrote. My signatures are no longer free. My signed cards are now on eBay. Thank your fellow, quote unquote, collectors. <laughs> and that is Richie Zisk. He is a strange cat, but I appreciate the note. Next up, we're going to open up this 88 Fleer. And let's see what we got. Our sticker this time is the Boston Red Sox. We have Gene Nelson, Chris Brown, Ed Romero. He's a good signer. We got Nails, Winfield, Belliard, Les Straker. Wally Ritchie, Ed Vandenberg, John Franco, Jose Nunez, Rob Melico, do not know him, Floyd Bannister, great signer, Jerry Mumphrey, and Dale Svam. Next up is our next return is from Kansas City. We have Matt Adams. He signed one of two in 23 days. He had a career batting average of 258 with 118 home runs, 399 RBIs. He played 10 years, appeared in 856 games. He played from 2012 to 2021. He played with the Cardinals, Braves, um, Nationals, and Rockies. His best year was in 2017 when he had 20 home runs. Drove in 65, and he batted 274. And he also won a World Series, as he was on the 2019 World Series champion Washington Nationals team. Next up, we're going to open up our 2022 pack. And again, we are looking for short prints in here. We have a Cal Quattrill. Justice Sheffield. Luis Castillo, Brian Reynolds, Yoan Adon, Pat Vileka, 
We have Jed Lowry. Oh, we got a backwards. We got a green of Jonathan Diaz. That's a pretty sweet looking card. It is number 497 out of 499. That is a nice card right there. 497 out of 499. We have Bobby Dahlbeck. We have Manny Machado. Alex Cobb. Kent Maeda. Josh Lowe. And Kevin Ploiecki. So not a bad pack right there. Our next return is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And we have Larry Boa. He signed three of three in seven days. He had a career batting average of 260 with 15 home runs, 525 RBIs. He also stole 318 bases. He played 16 years, appeared in 2,247 games. He played from 70 to 85. And he played with the Phillies, Cubs, and Mets. He was a five-time All-Star, a two-time glove, Gold Glove winner. He also won a World Series. He won it in 1980 with the Phillies. Uh, during his career, he also hit 99 triples. His best year was in 1978 when he finished third in the MVP voting. And in that year, he hit three home runs, knocked in 43, batted 294, and had 27 stolen bases. So that was Mr. Larry Boa, who had a very solid career. Next, I'm going to show you the random act of kindness that we got. And it is from a great channel. It is Causes Wasting Money. I will leave a link to his channel in my description. And if you could, please go check him out. And he sent me this letter. It says, here are the cards. Remember, Shed Long might be in a Reds Uni, but he's in the Orioles minor league system now. I used to be a collector, but now I just spend the love when I can. I stepped away from baseball cards and am doing horror movie reviews. Take care, my friend, and keep making those great TTM videos. Cause. Well, Cause, thank you very much. And here are the cards that he sent me. He sent me this sweet Ken Singleton signed card. Make room for all of this. So he sent me that sweet Ken Singleton. He sent me his personalized custom card. And he also sent me this sweet Shed Long card. Second baseman. He is currently in AAA for the Orioles with the Norfolk Tides. So again, thank you, Kaz. Greatly appreciated. And our last return is from Phoenix, Arizona. And we have Willie Wilson. He signed two of two in 10 days. He does charge $5 per. He had a career batting average of 285, 41 home runs, 585 RBIs. He also stole 668 bases. He played 19 years, appeared in 2,154 games. He played from 76 to 94. He played with the Royals, A's, and Cubs. He was a two-time All-Star. He also won a Gold Glove. He also won a World Series. And that was in 1985 with the Royals. Five times he led the league in triples. He won a batting, batting title in 1982 with a 332 batting average. Um, also during his career, he hit a total of 147 triples. His best year, or his best two years, were in 1979 and 1980. In those two years, he stole 162 bases and had a batting average of 320 for those two years. So another, another underrated player right there, Willie Wilson. And that, guys, is going to do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And as always, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.